Hey guys, what's happening? I'm in New York City, and uh, I'm in uh, I'm in a different part. I'm in Greenwich Village. All my trips to New York before have always uh, landed me kind of in Midtown, kind of near Times Square and Central Park. So I've shot a lot of those uh, touristy kind of things. Um, and I always thought New York was busy and loud and crowded, but uh, this time I'm kind of over in the Greenwich Village area, and it's it's quiet and it's not crowded. And uh, so I'm walking around doing some street photography and shooting some architecture and some street scenes. So uh, just hop into some shots and uh, let's go have some fun. So I'm just running around with my 28 millimeter prime. It's an F2 lens. Um, right now there's still plenty of light, so I don't really need the F2. But in a little while, when it gets dark and blue hour, I'll be uh, I'll be opening that uh, all the way, basically, to F2 and shooting that. Um, and that's one of the things I do, like when I'm out shooting cities at night. I like to do the prime lenses because you can get such a wide open aperture, but also just bump up the ISO and just go look for interesting scenes. So as darkness approaches, that's what we're going to be doing here, and I'm going to keep looking. There's so many cool, interesting little nooks and crannies over here. It's just gorgeous, to be honest. Love the photos I'm getting, and uh, it's very European almost. I am getting so many photos. Like, I don't know why I didn't get down here earlier in my life. This place is freaking awesome. I have to admit, it took me a number of years to warm up to New York. Um, I used to never really like it that much. I used to come up here a bit on business, and uh, I always just was kind of like, you know, ah, got to go to New York. And this was even when I was into photography. Um, and clearly, you know, it's a photogenic city. There's so many things to point the camera at. And, you know, it's arguably like the most amazing city on the planet for cityscapes and this kind of stuff I love to shoot. But I never liked it. But now I, uh, I really like it a lot. I mean, it's amazing. And uh, I've liked it for a number of years. But being down here has really cemented my love for the place. It's, uh, it's just stunning. So much cool stuff to see. So at this point, yeah, I would say I freaking love New York. It's uh, it's just an amazing city. So many great things to shoot, and uh, Greenwich Village is just amazing. Um, I'm going to probably use that word a lot in this video, but there's just so many cool things. I love that it's quiet. I mean, I'm walking around at night, and you know, there's no horns honking, there's no taxis blaring, you know, people screaming, any of that. It's just people walking the streets. It's like, uh, I guess this is where people live, um, as opposed to the, the tourist throngs that are uh, in the other parts of town that I've been to. So at this point, I can say, yeah, New York, you got me. I love it. Okay, that's about it, my friends. Um, by the way, I've been shooting all these uh, photos with my 28 millimeter F2 on my Sony. It's a prime 
kind of a wide angle prime. And if you don't have one, it's uh, super helpful because of the F2 uh, or you know a lens like that. It doesn't have to be this one because if you don't shoot Sony, you don't need it. Um, but super great for the wide angle kind of city shots, uh, especially at night. I'm doing everything handheld, so no tripod. I'm just traveling light and uh, they're firing beautifully. So uh, highly recommended. A couple of things I look for, uh, maybe a couple of tips, if you will, while I'm shooting uh, cityscapes, especially at night, is I'm looking for pockets of light and shadow where there's contrast. I am firing brackets, although, uh, well, by the time you see this video, I'll indicate whether I processed in HDR or just took single exposures and edited those. But um, I do bracket a lot at night uh, because of that. And also, um, when I'm shooting a low light, I do shoot F2. But if you're shooting, like in, if you're focused on infinity, it doesn't really matter per se. Uh, in that, uh, you know, plenty of stuff's gonna be in focus. Um, but when I first started, you know, it was always, you know, hey, a tight aperture like an F16 or something is gonna get everything in focus and the wider apertures like an F2 are not. But that's really, if you're focused on something close, the stuff in the distance is gonna be kind of blurred at F2. But when you're shooting a cityscape, a wide open scene, it doesn't really make a huge impact. Uh, those of you that are pixel peepers might disagree with me, but you know, in the scheme of things, most people, what they're doing with their photos, the F2 wide open, uh, sh you know, focused on a, a distant uh, street scene, it's, it's plenty fine. And uh, I do that all the time. And personally, I think the photos look good. Feel free to disagree. Um, but that's my two cents. Um, and then I look for lines. So that could be things in the street. Uh, it could be like the curve of the street. It could be lines of the buildings. Uh, it could be the lines of the, the skyline. Um, you know, those sort of things. Uh, and the last thing is I'm um, shooting handheld. Try to find something to lean up against if you need to. I gotta move so I don't get hit. Um, hey, there's a car. Uh, it's been so quiet here. Um, but yeah, so like lean up against like these trees over here or a light post or something, uh, you know, to give you a little bit of a stability. Uh, because, you know, especially if you're firing brackets in lower light, you know, I've got my ISO at 1000 and I'm shooting at F2, I think. I think it's ISO 1000, but anyway, um, I still like to lean up against things if possible, just to give me that extra little bit of stability. Uh, and, and the last thing is, if you can, anchor your elbows, sort of tuck them into your sides, breathe out, and then fire after you finish the exhale before you start the inhale. A couple little tips there for shooting a low light. Hope that helps. Uh, and that's it. The last thing is the apartment building back there, if you can see that. Uh, that top uh, is the, what they use as the exterior shots for the TV show Friends. That's what I read. So I was here just to look at it. Not that it really matters, but uh, something of interest. Anyway, that's it, my friends. I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the photos and the little tour of Greenwich Village. Can't believe I didn't get here any sooner than I did, but I'm definitely coming back. That's it for now. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Adios.